Good afternoon, everyone. Um, this is Arthur Jimenez at PIDC. I think we'll get started in about one minute. That were for you, Emma? <clears throat> That's perfect. Ready okay. to go. Yeah, one more minute. All right, let, let me get started. Um, well, good afternoon again. My name is Arthur Jimenez. Uh, I work, I'm, this, I, I'm the director of business development here at PIDC. Um, I've been here for about five years and so we are running these uh, Rebuild Contract Line of Credit um, webinars every two weeks, just to make sure that you know, it's, it's readily available for anyone who has questions, wants to learn more. We also try to give some project updates. So that does change every couple of weeks about rebuild um, projects in the pipeline. Um, so um, yeah, let's get started with the uh, presentation. Alex, will you be present, um, showing the PowerPoint or will I be? I forget. I can share it if you want me to. Okay, if you share it, that'd be great. Great, thanks, Alex. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, for the so with the agenda is it's pretty brief. Uh, we'll just do a quick introduction of the speakers, and then we will go through the rebuild program objectives, a little bit of background on a rebuild itself, about some of the programs available within rebuild, and then we will go into the uh, actual rebuild contract line of credit product, and then um, we'll open up for a Q and A. Okay, next slide, please. Uh, again, my name is Arthur Jimenez. I'm the Director of Business Development. I'm joined today by Emma Nalen. Emma, can you introduce yourself, please? Hi, everyone. My name is Emma Nalen, and I am the Project Manager for Surety Bond Associates. And we work in partnership with the Enterprise Center to run the Rebuild Ready program. Thanks, Emma. Next slide, please. Here, Emma, why don't you take it from here? <clears throat> Thanks, Arthur. Um, again, thank you all so much for joining us today. There are more than 400 neighborhood parks, rec centers, and libraries in Philadelphia. They serve as safe places for people to learn, play, exercise, and get access to important services. However, about 90% of those places are in need of investment. A historic investment in Philadelphia communi communities, which has been made possible by the Philadelphia beverage tax, Rebuild will invest hundreds of million dollars in improving community facilities. Through its projects, Rebuild will make physical improvements to parks, rec centers, and libraries, promote diversity and economic inclusion by supporting minorities and women who work or want to work in the design and construction industries. Rebuild will also engage with community members to leverage their knowledge, power, and expertise. Community feedback will inform the improvements that are made to these facilities. Next slide, please. The Rebuild program is a new way to invest in our neighborhoods by promoting inclusion and opportunities for diverse businesses and individuals, empowering our community voice and supporting the well being of Philadelphians. Next slide, please. Rebuild has completed a number of projects already, and many are in the design and construction phase right now. Here are a few that are currently in the pipeline and are up for release very soon, and I'll briefly review those. Um, from the top, the Olney Rec Center, its scope is site and building improvement, and its release, or its timeline release is this winter, 2021, into spring 2022. The next is the Chew Playground. Its scope is field improvements and its release for timeline, its timeline release is spring 2022. The rest of these are all 
um, set to be released in the spring of 2022. The next is Vernon Park. Its scope is site improvements. Zeeler Playground scope is site and building improvements. Murphy's Rec Center scope is site and building improvements. And finally, the Fishtown Rec Center Hockey Court, its scope is plumbing improvements. So please keep an eye out for updates to all of these upcoming rebuild projects. Next slide, please. The Rebuild Ready Business Support Program provides Philadelphia-based design and construction businesses training in specific, in specific skills needed to successfully bid on rebuild projects. These projects range from improvements in new construction of rec centers, playgrounds, libraries, and swimming pools, just to name a few. And today I will cover the steps that you need to take in order to prepare yourself to bid on these projects. Next slide, please. The construction management cohort training component will educate MWBE contractors on key elements of construction management, combining classroom lecture, classroom activity, along with one-on-one -on -one technical assistance with field application. The cohort workshop series will focus on key elements of contract procurement, contract negotiations, project management, construction accounting, financial management, insurance and surety, marketing and leadership, as well as much more. Next slide, please. The program's technical assistance and business support services offer MWBE certification application package preparation assistance, MWBE subcontractor prequal assistance, accounting and financial management assistance, bond application package preparation assistance, access to surety bond support tools, such as this US Small Business Administration surety bond guarantee program and project funds control. Access to capital to mobilization capital, construction procurement and back office administration operations and site visit project monitoring and reporting. Next slide, please. <clears throat> Surety Bond Associates, Associates has recently developed a tier two mentorship program for alumni of the Rebuild Ready Support Program who have already undergone the foundational cohort training. Tier two will be launching very soon. We're hoping um, end of this month or um, beginning of December. And we'll offer a more hands-on coaching and mentorship approach Contractors will be partnered with a construction mentor to coach them throughout the program. The structure of the training sessions will include class time exercises and smaller team and group activities. The full group will be broken into teams and each team will prepare a bid on an actual rebuild project. The real time class activities that will be covered in this upcoming training program are as follows. Each team will reply, will respond to a rebuild RFQ. They will complete rebuild project documents, respond to a rebuild bid, prepare a project budget, prepare a payment application, prepare certified payroll and LCP tracker. And finally, at the end of the cohort, we'll participate in a mock rebuild bid. Next slide, please. In order to participate in the Rebuild Tier 2 Mentorship Program, all participants must have completed the initial Rebuild Ready cohort. They must have fully participated in an entire cohort program. They must be a GC or construction trade contractor. They must be committed to bid on Rebuild projects. They have to be approved and are currently approved in the Emergency Emergent Vendor Program, which we will discuss in a minute or be an MWBE currently in the OEO registry. They must be willing to complete contractor pre-qualification application and supply supporting documents. And their gross, they must have gross sales of $250,000 or more. Next slide, please. 
Rebuild Ready also offers additional financial support resources to help MWBE contractors prepare to bid. The Rebuild Contract Line of Credit Program is a low interest rate mobilization loan, and Arthur will review this in just a minute. Surety Bond Associates provides contractors with access to surety bonds that are required to bid as a prime contractor and sometimes as a subcontractor. Small MWBE contractors have difficulty accessing capital and surety bonds. So we provide assistance with both of those throughout this program. We can also help you access the insurance coverages that you will be required to maintain. Next slide, please. Another program offered through Rebuild, as I previously mentioned, is the Emerging Vendor Program. Through this program, minority and women-owned businesses can be counted toward diversity goals on Rebuild projects while working on obtaining their certification as an MBE or WBE. Up to $150,000 of your work on Rebuild projects will count towards Rebuild diversity goals. It does, it is a bit of a process and takes 18 months to become certified and technical assistance is needed if, if necessary. Next slide, please. All right, so let's take a look at the steps you can take to get prepared to bid on Rebuild Ready projects. First, sign up for Rebuild updates. Get information about projects, events, contract opportunities, and ways to get involved in Rebuild projects. Registering through the link that we will provide will put you on the Rebuild email list so that you may receive community and vendor updates. Next, submit a call of interest form. This form should be completed by design and construction firms. Completion of this form provides you with a way to promote your diverse business directly with Rebuild. Stay informed of project status updates. With over 400 sites being eligible for Rebuild investment, it is recommended that you regularly visit the website to view sites that have been approved to receive rebuild funding and have work underway. You will also see what products or services are being put out for bid for that specific project. View current contract opportunities with both rebuild and PHDC as PHDC engages directly with contractors to make improvements at rec centers, libraries, parks, and other public facilities, just as Rebuild does. Attend Rebuild outreach events so that you can come face-to-face -face and engage with the project users. Project users are local nonprofits responsible for managing these Rebuild update projects. Excuse me. Attend pre-bid meetings as they give you another opportunity to build relationships with project users, GCs, prime contractors, and many more individuals involved. Remember, they can't hire you if they don't know about you. So make your presence known. Sign up for Rebuild Ready program so that you're better prepared to bid on these opportunities. Next slide, please. And finally, in order to pursue further business and career opportunities, as well as to ask any questions you may have, please don't hesitate to contact Rebuild via the above email address, which is rebuild at phila.gov. Next slide, please. And this is my contact information. Again, my name is Emma Nalen of Surety Bond Associates. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions about the Rebuild Ready cohort program, tier two mentoring program, or the Emerging Vendor Program. Thank you all so much for your time. And with that, I'm gonna hand it back to Arthur. Thanks, Emma. Um, so this is, uh, again, my name is Arthur Jimenez and Director of Business Development, PIDC. Uh, for those who don't know what PIDC is, PIDC is the official economic development partner for the city of Philadelphia. Um, one of the main things we do is to support sm uh, small businesses by um, providing financial resources. So this is only applies to businesses that are located in Philadelphia, uh, either have an office or are either office or headquartered here. Um, and our financing products are, are on the slide. So this is the, um, 
first one is the working capital equipment loan. So that is uh, a loan that can help with providing uh, financing for general working capital needs, such as uh, payroll, uh, inventory, purchasing supplies. If you also need to purchase equipment, you can use that for that loan as well. Um, our contract line of credit. This is our traditional contract line of credit that's been around for many years. It's primarily used as a tool to help get paid faster on slow pay contracts. Um, these contracts can be both um, from city agencies or public agencies to um, the privately owned or private owners of the contract. Next is uh, a capital project loan. This is another product that's been around for a long time. It helps to business purchase and renovate property in Philadelphia. Um, it does use federal funds, so there is some job creation requirements, uh, but it does have a below market interest rate, which is very, uh, very attractive. And then lastly, we have our, our, our commercial mortgage loan. So this helps businesses purchase um, a property that they will occupy in Philadelphia. Um, it can be used for a variety of businesses, such as a uh, you know, corner store grocery or like a bodega, um, to a daycare, to um, 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 auto mechanic. Uh, we, we kind of, uh, you know, we've seen all types of uses for this loan. It's really just, up, again, help you purchase a building. They maybe be long-term leasing. Uh, and now you have the opportunity to purchase or it's a building that is close to your existing location so that you can build wealth um, in your, um, by uh, owning a property or owning this asset, asset appreciation. Okay, next slide, please. So this is a side-by-side -side, uh, comparison of the contract line of credit or traditional contract line of credit and the rebuild contract line of credit. Uh, they're very similar. Um, the traditional contract line of credit has an interest rate of three and a half percent. So that's an annual interest rate. Um, so you only pay that if the invoice is outstanding for a whole year. If it's not, it's only a fraction. You only pay a fraction of that interest rate. Um, for the rebuild contract line of credit, it's only a 1.5%. So it's, it's less than half. Uh, and it also comes with a grant, a uh, mobilization grant of up to $5,000. So that's what makes it really attractive. Uh, again, this is only for rebuild contracts. Uh, that's the you know, that's the unique constraint for the for the uh, rebuild contract line of credit. It helps you get paid faster because sometimes these invoices take uh, may take thirty to sixty days to get paid. If we have the contract uh, line of credit, it, you can get paid once we have that approved invoice in about a week or two. We estimate, uh, and that really helps you get paid faster, pay your suppliers faster, pay your uh, employees faster so you can move on to the next project and not be um, hindered by um, you know cash flow constraints. Okay, next slide please. So typically this is the um, the turnaround the process we go through. It takes about 30 to 60 days to get approved for the rebuild contract line of credit. Um, and this is just a breakdown of the process. So we I will contact you we'll, we'll discuss over the phone. Uh, whether your um, your business and your contract is um, is eligible. If it is, then we ask you to fill on the application. I, we review internally. Uh, if, once we have all the documents we need for underwriting, then we move into full underwriting. And then if it looks um, like a loan that we can support uh, and fund with our with the contract line of credit, then we present to the loan committee, which means every two weeks. And then once the loan committee approves it, we issue a commitment letter in about a week or two after that. And then once you review it and, and uh, sign off on the commitment letter, then we, um, we have to, um, before we schedule the closing, we have to um, council drafts an executed payment directive, which will go to, um, which actually goes to a PIDC entity called PAID, P-A-I-D. Uh, that's where the rebuild funds are, uh, are issued out of. So we take care of that, and then the uh, we schedule the loan closing. So that the the payment directive for paid is only applicable for rebuild rebuild contracts. Uh, for all our other products, um, if they're if uh, for the contract line of credit, um, if it's an outside entity, then the outside entity who is the payer uh, will have to sign the um, the payment directive and the assignment of contract proceeds. Okay, 
Uh, so there's usually an application fee of $250 for the rebuild um, line of credit, but we've waived that for this year so that we can just really um, you know, generate as much interest as possible. Um, but there are some closing fees if you are approved. It's uh, $1,250 if your loan is over $50,000. Um, but if it's the smallest amount, um, the loan closing fee has been reduced to seven fifty. dollars Okay, next slide, please. So these are just high level overview of the, uh, the fundamentals we go through in underwriting. Uh, it's called the five C's of credit. Uh, first one's character. So we do, uh, you know, we do your credit, we do a credit approval. We don't we have a cutoff credit score, but we do look at the um, individual account, just make sure that they've been paid for, um, you know, as best as possible for uh, our current for the past year. If there are some mispayments or um, anything collections, we'll ask you about that. It doesn't disqualify you, but it does, you know, it does uh, raise some questions that we have to ask. We also look about, look at your character in terms of your experience in the industry. You know, how many years have been in the industry? Have you, uh, did you work with a larger firm before? Now you work with uh, your own, your own um, individual firm. Um, kind, of, kind of understanding the history, like also about your team, not just about the owner, but what team do you have in place to make a successful project? The next C is collateral. So in most cases, the contract proceeds is sufficient for collateral. But in cases where there is some, um, there is some um, concerns with the, uh, with the credit report, we may ask for additional collateral, uh, but that is pretty rare. In most cases, the collateral is, for the rebuild contract line of credit will be the contract proceeds. Uh, for cash flow, and the next C is the, we look at the cash flow in terms of how profitable your business is, you know, or maybe it wasn't profitable last year, uh, it's in 2020, which, you know, is totally understandable because of the ongoing pandemic. We, we, uh, we want to understand if you are not profitable, how do you see yourself becoming profitable in the next two or three years? So we'll ask you to provide some projections. Um, so it's really a historical and a future looking exercise of um, looking at cash flow for that, um, for that, uh, for the cash flow analysis. The next C is uh, capital. So understanding um, how much equity you put into the business so far. Uh, how much, what's the net worth of your business? Um, and do you have ex existing working capital right now on top of the loans we may provide you? Uh, Cause we, we just wanna see that you do have access to your own capital, um, whether it be like, um, uh, like a conservative amount or not. Uh, we, we still wanna understand what that looks like. And lastly is economic conditions. Uh, so this is, we just do an industry analysis of the you know, you're in, you know, what specific trade you're in, um, and try to understand what the uh, your risks are and see how, um, and just get an understanding of that. This is usually just more of a background analysis, uh, but we do take that into account as well. Next slide, please. So we do have an online application. It takes about 10 to 20 minutes to fill out. Uh, you can save your progress online. It does ask you a lot of questions about um, you know, your background. Your um, like here, for example, asks you if you're filed for bankruptcy. If you click yes, then you have to give an explanation as to why. Um, if you are currently in a in bankruptcy um, and you have not been dismissed yet or discharged, we uh, we probably won't be able to help you out at this moment. But you will have to. We can have, after your loan has been your bankruptcy has been discharged. Um, and we usually ask, we usually look to see uh, for a period about five to seven years after that. And um, it also asks any questions about you know, if you have any collections, judgments, any unpaid taxes. Um, if there are, those will not disqualify you as long as you have a, they've been paid off previously or you have a payment plan in place to take care of those. Um, of those outstanding judgments or collections or uh, unpaid taxes. We just need, we, at the bare minimum, we need to see on a payment plan, a payment plan in place. Okay. Um, and then at the end of the application, you'll ask you upload several documents such as your personal tax returns, any owner who has more than 20% ownership, uh, business tax returns, and um, 
actually, I think it's a slide that goes through all the documents. So next slide, please. So this is the list of documents. Um, so we ask if you have a copy of the Rebo contract, we ask you to upload that. If not, um, we can still work with you. Uh, we ask also for a project budget, a credit consent form, for your credit report, your tax certification, um, see that you're at least updated on your city taxes, business tax returns for three years, a personal financial statement, uh, an interim financial statement for uh, for 2021. So that includes both the income statement and, and income statement and balance sheet. Um, three years of tax returns for the any owner who owns more than 20% of the business. And then existing company debt schedule. So the, if you do have existing debt, we'd like to understand um, you know, how much that is, what's the monthly payment, what's the current interest rates, things like that. And then some supplements we may ask for that are listed there. Um, we do look for asking you to prepare for monthly projections, especially for the rebuild contract. Um, so that's not required at application, but we will, under I will work with you to put that together. Okay, next slide, please. Here's an example of the projected cash flow, uh, the monthly projected cash flow. It's really good exercise to help you understand the timing of when you would uh, come out of pocket for a lot of these projects where you, you know, expend um, some of your working capital for say, for payroll, for uh, materials and supplies, for admin expenses. Um, and then when do you actually plan on billing for the project? And when would you receive the, those, um, the cash for those invoices, the proceeds of those invoices? So there is usually a delay here, for example, it's about a two month delay. So you have to uh, really take that into account. It does, this exercise also helps us calculate the, um, the adequate, um, adequate amount of a contract line of credit you will need. So that's on the bottom, I think it might be a little cut off, but it does help you understand, it can help you understand about, from our um, experience, it's about uh, a half or a third of the contract amount is a maximum of totally outstanding. That's what you'll need as a contract line of credit to plug that, plug that gap. Okay, next slide, please. So like, again, I said, the minimal collateral requirements is also all our loans require a personal guarantee that's across the board uh, and then a lien on business assets. So there, if there is an existing lien, we can take a second lien and be behind the first, that's okay. And then we do need the assignment of proceeds of the contract because we will be advancing those proceeds um, you know, like I said, about a week or two after the invoice approval. Um, but then once the loan, once the contract is, uh, once the payer is ready to pay, that payment has to come directly to PIDC. Okay, next slide, please. That's it. Uh, that um, includes our presentation. This, this is our team here. That's myself, um, Evan Montavo, Heather Hanowitz. There's also a Carmel Dean, who's our underwriter. Um, so we're all here, uh, you know, able to help and you can call us any questions. I, I'll primarily take the phone calls for anyone who has questions about the uh, repo contract line of credit or really any type of product because uh, we, at, at times we do, we are able to supplement um, the repo line of credit with another loan product if you need it. Um, it also comes with a mobilization grant, but if you are, um, if you need additional support, we can also include that in the, um, in our in our, uh, in our our in our term sheet that we can provide. Okay. And I think at this moment, we'll, um, we'll open up to questions. Anyone from the audience? So we posted uh, all our contact information in the chat window, so you can just copy and paste that for your needs. Um, and uh, yeah, feel free to contact me at um, ahimenez at pidcphila.com. Are there any questions from the attendees? And Emma Nalen did uh, mention that there is a rebuild uh, contract opportunities website. So I'll paste that here. I don't think it's easy to find, no problem. 
So this is regularly updated. Uh, so right now it has some uh, potential contracts for uh, impact services projects. And this, from my experience, this changes weekly. So it's a good place to look for um, any new contracts that are open for bid or actually in the ones that they, they do take them away once they expire. Yes, correct. Thanks for adding that. No problem, Emma. Did you want to add anything else, Emma, about any rebuild projects? <laughs> I think I'm good on my end. I just want to reiterate that if anybody has any questions regarding anything to do with the rebuild cohort program, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and we'll get you connected as soon as possible. Yeah, and I do want to emphasize that you know, the rebuild ready program is very extremely helpful, um, especially to help you understand if you've never bidded for a contract before, and that's really helpful, understanding the requirements to be on a rebuild contract. Um, I think it's very helpful to learn there at the Rebuild Ready program. So it's just that's a plethora of information that um, it, you shouldn't let go waste. So I think it's a great mm -hmm. service that you guys, the Shady Bond Association is providing for that. Thanks. Yes, for, for sure. And I know Jocelyn just also added another link into the chat <clears throat> regarding rebuild updates as well. So please check that out as well. Okay, we'll give one more minute um, for any more questions. Okay, sounds like we have a quiet audience today, but thanks for um, your time to joining us today. And Emma, thanks again for, and Jocelyn coming today and helping us you out. Um, and great. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next uh, Rebuild Contract and Credit webinar. Sounds great. Thanks so much, thanks, everybody. Arthur. Thanks, Arthur. Have Bruce a great Bruce. day. You too. Bye. Bye. Thanks.